Nintendo, but now, if I could say, in the, words of, our, in the words of our good friend, Studi Announcer, uh -huh. welcome to Grand Finals here at Smash Adelphia That sounded like that hurt. That sounded like that hurt, Koopa. I mean, it doesn't hurt Stu, therefore it won't hurt me. Anyway, yeah, I guess that's fair. We got Great Gonzalez fighting off against Ling Ling. Gonzalez still representing Mr. Game & Watch. If Gonz so, beats Ling Ling with Game & Watch, I will do absolutely nothing except go home and be very happy with anyone. Good. I think Valentino does not in his matchup too, so I guess he's just really feeling Mr. Game and Watch. Yeah, like I said, he's got he's got a spare set to play with. Like it's you said. his sole name. Yeah. Okay. Hold up. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. All right. So what's going to be happening in this match? You'll be seeing you know Peach versus Game and Watch. Game and Watch thrives a lot off of being able to just escape these combos, right? Because Peach thrives off of those down tilts or grab combos at low percents, but sometimes Gons can get out of there by just spamming that up B with Game and Watch. Yeah, man. Sometimes that's all you need. Mm -hmm. It, 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 he's a slippery character to try to like fight against, especially in the hands of someone like Gons. Yeah, and it's definitely not a character you like have much experience against, no matter how much you think that you do. Yeah, like Gons is kind of his own entity. Like you might have Game of Watch experience, but you have Gons experience. Yeah, Gons experience. As you can see right now, Ling Ling having kind of a rough time uh, with things, but keeping it close. That's all you got to do against characters like you know weird characters like Mr. Game of Watch. You got to at least like give yourself a chance. To like be in the game, so be in the moment. Okay, we got a trade. I thought Gons was gonna die to that too, but really fantastic just... trade for Gons. Gonna be able to take that first stock, put himself in the lead. Did I really just kill? God, I mean, it, it, that was the keyblade. On Gons, really? Like, don't force it, man. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's okay, man. Okay, so we got 119 to 44 percent on Ling Ling. Don't have those more explosions with the forward air. Okay, readying up that down smash, but Liquid Leeling just going in, swinging with an aggressive forward air. Yeah, but God's going right back to work here. That's something that he likes to do with Game & Watch. He likes to jump off stage and go for those back airs with the turtles. Yeah, Mr. Game & Watch has, like, deceptively longer, like, you know, better aerial drift than you think. Mm. You know, he is a, a piece of paper, therefore. He yeah. can flow very easily through the That's air. That's not what the T-Pose told me, dog. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, looking for the up B. I mean, he felt himself a little scared instead of going for the back air. Shield just wants to go for the up B immediately just to escape. Ooh, okay, up to Honestly, that that's hard to t like uh, time too in space against so like a uh, a sword like the key, right? Yeah, because that that is a disjointed hitbox. And also an aerial opponent, because like you don't yeah. have the the added benefit of the grounded hitbox to lift their opponent up. So, Gon's doing a fantastic job of stuffing out that Peach Bomber with the down smash. Ling Ling Ooh. just continue to shark underneath Gons, like giving an opportunity to land. And these two have not fought each other at all today yet in, no. in, in brackets. Like, uh, be, uh, they were fated to fight off against each other in winners' finals before Ling, Ling was upset by DM previously. Very true. Now he's sitting here trying to have to take two sets away from Gons instead of just the singular one in this race to three. Ooh, good parry and the chair. Yeah. What an answer coming out from Gons. If there's ever a time for a down throw nine, it would be right now. You might be thinking about it. Put him in that prime percent. The way he was holding shield made me think he wanted to go for a grab. Yeah, for real. And Lily might be aware of it, which is why he's start, starting to stay airborne a lot more. There it is. Oh, he got the eight. Oh, that was a nine. Oh, my good God. I would have left. I literally would have just left the building. He, he was hungry. I mean, honestly, at that percentage, that, 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 that joint is hard to deal with. My back. Up. That definitely hurt his back. It is cracking. Be careful. Oh, gets the parry, but doesn't drop through the platform. Yeah. Could have easily gone for the up tilt. Didn't want to commit to it. Down smash to apply some pressure. He gets him in that, that grounded state. He could potentially kill him. He's at maximum range. Gives him that extra knockback. Oh, my God. And he's trying to duck. I mean, Game Watch can low profile stuff. He is so hungry for that down smash. I literally he's going to capitalize on it. Hits the back air, sends him off. That's going to be game one going in Ling Ling's favor. Yep, good stuff there from uh, Ling Ling. Again, losing our first stock, but not really mm. uh, falling into the trap of Mr. Game & Watch. So, Do you think Gons is going to switch to Palu? I hope he does. <laughs> I mean, so for those that don't know, Gons is a Palutena main, and he's secondary is Game & Watch. And uh, he was going Game & Watch against the likes of DM because that's how he feels comfortable in that matchup against yeah, Pikachu. Yeah, because the Chews are just not that great of a matchup yeah. for Palutena. So. so, but now he's playing against Ling Ling's Peach. I wouldn't be, I mean, he still has another set to play with, so maybe he's just kind of messing around. Oh, so that second set, but no, he just wanted to give it a shot to see how game one would go. We are going straight to Palutena. 
for game number two. The Fears really would have played Simon, but mm. you know, that, that's just me. Three, that, is, that is just you. So we're going into PS2 <laughs> for game number two. Yep, so going for the much uh, the matchup much more commonly featured on the higher tier of the tier list. So, you know, Gon's had his fun, it's time now, it's time to get to work, so. Mm. Now with Palutena, with Gon's, especially at low percent, he's gonna be looking for these neutralizers because look at that, just one little swing off of that gives him so much damage and so much momentum, stage control. It, it does the whole it does the whole package. Yeah, man. It's a combo deal. Does it come with fries? Yeah. <laughs> and a large Pepsi or Coke. I don't know what what, what, what product are we sponsoring? <laughs> okay, gets the back here right, right after crossing him up. Neutral air again out of shield, just pushes him off, throws out the explosive flame, Lingling just hovering up above there. Yeah, man. And Palutena, I, like I said this earlier, these two characters are the best air to air characters in the game. And Palutena just has some of the best aerials in the game at stuffing out Peach. So, you know, getting off of the ledge and like kind of just advancing forward is going to be really hard for Lingling here, I feel like. Mm -hmm. But, needless to say, Khan's doing a really good job, and so is Lingling at not dying yet, so. And you see Palu just throwing out those back airs over and over near the ledge. I mean, it, it, it's a smart thing to go for. Okay, managed to get back on the stage, but Ling Ling's right there to get the re-grab. Okay, waiting for this option. Oh, again. That the... was a smart explosive flame. He put it right in front of him. We're going off there, drags off yep. stage, catches the Nair, gets the first stock. I'll say this to the day I die, Gans is the best at Palutena using explosive flame. And I think Lingling's the best at getting these back airs, man, on center stage. Yeah, you're right. I mean, there is Sam Storm, so maybe not. But hey, <laughs> guys, the Nair's coming out. Thanks to a forward air, another back air. I think the double jump is eaten alive. Uh, no DI on that down throw. Ooh, that could have been really bad for Gods, but able to escape further harm. Now has Lingling back in disadvantage off the ledge. Okay, point blank, explosive flame. There is startup on Palutena for that, so it allows it loses himself wide open for uh, Ling Ling to get the punish. Trying to pop him up with the down tilt on the ledge. It's a really good tool for getting the two frame because it's a long lasting move for Palu. Ooh, that could have been really bad for Gons. Again, warp recoveries are very, very uh, easy to two frame, so that could have been a look for that to be a factor maybe later in these edge guarding percents. I feel like Gons feels himself when he goes for these empty hops into grabs. Whenever he starts doing the tomahawks like that, it, he catches the opponent off guard. That's how you know he, he's feeling himself and he's got that momentum. Try to bring it in. Because he gets so much mileage out of that too, because Paolo gets a lot of damage off a of grab. Yeah, man, without a doubt. Back here again, throwing out the explosive flame. Ling Ling trying to get back to the stage with the up B. Look at this corner pressure being exhibited by Gons. Oh! But then Ling Ling catches the toe with the turn up. Sends him off. Yeah, turn up for Ling Ling. Let's see what he can do with this. Yeah, let's see what the answer is for Gons. Able to <laughs> catch Ling Ling on his own cross up. Good use of the up B. Going through the bottom of the stage right there. Not, you know, catching Gons, sleeping at the wheel. See Gons once again just trying to get the stock off of Ling Ling, not giving up center stage. Next round top with the back air. Nice response. Ling Ling knows that Great Gonzalez wants to go off stage with that neutral air, but manages to just jump right behind him, gets the grab, gets the back throw. Now we have one stock apiece. Last lives. Yeah, man. Gonzalez able to stop the bleeding and see how long he's going to be, you know, he can try to get himself back in the game here. Forward throw. Ooh, okay. Able to sneak under the down smash with the neutral air, and this is how. It can get started for Palutena. Okay, throwing out the Nairs again and again. I mean, Gons would get a lot off of that at this point. He'd yeah. probably be able to even up the stocks, or the uh, percentage-wise. Right. Well, we're tilt to catch the air dodge. Yeah, I was going to say forward tilt, one of the best that, uh, you know, it's, it's a good punish tool. You know, I wouldn't recommend using it too often, but for that intended purpose, it fulfilled it. Now Gonzalez is on the ledge of the stage, goes for the double warp to get back up. That was sneaky. Spot dodged it up tilt. Don't see that too often. Wasn't able to work. Holding on the shield doesn't give him what he's looking for. Nair off stage. Doesn't get the kill. Great DI coming out from Ling Ling. Able to get back uh -oh. on Peach Bombers. Where's he going? Explosive okay. flame to give himself some breathing room. Uh -oh. Tries to go for a second one. That was super sus. Be careful, turn up. first recover high. And he double jumped to avoid that turn up too. Trying to get him with the up airs. 
Luxlair gets that dash attack on the miss tech. That's going to be Leeling winning game number two. 2-0 two lead against Gons from New Jersey. We're about to see a bracket reset. Potentially, and unfortunately for Gons, uh, you know, if he missed that tech and therefore that led into the dash of that kill right there, as you can see, he's uh, not too thrilled about it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so are we going to see a 3-0 reset from Lingling or maybe see a, uh, you know, a game on the board for Gons? Because that was pretty close, Yeah, all things considered. I mean, Gons still has a huge advantage here, you know. He's got that, uh, he, he's still in winner's side. He's yet to drop a single set this entire tournament. So if he manages to drop this one, he gets a redo against Lingling here in Grand Finals. But here we go, jumping into game number three. Ling Ling, honestly, I don't see this going anywhere else but PS2. Like, this is just... Uh, yeah, same, honestly. Like, uh, Ling Ling might mix it up or mix it up when it's his counter pick, but PS2 is such a strong stage for both these characters. Like, I, I could just see them feeling it's, it's a comfort pick at this point. Yeah, exactly. He gets the double forward air afterwards. I mean, this, now you see Gons is trying to, like, uh, space out these forward airs, trying to get the pokes against Ling Ling. Oh, okay. Gons recovers high to avoid whatever blender Lingling Ling was trying to throw at him. Oh, that was a... Okay, so he went for the parasol to try to catch him up above. It managed to whiff it, so I just gave Gons a big punish. Ooh, that could have been really risky for Gons, but not getting blown up for uh, that rogue dash attack. Doesn't for that one, though. So. And there's a lot of money on the line here, man. Yeah, they're both playing. There's a good hook of change on the yeah. table here. Two thousand five hundred dollar pop bonus on top of the entry fee. I think it's four thousand five hundred dollars total. Something like that. So somewhere, somewhere in that ballpark. Ooh, it's the empty grab. Does Ooh. it again? Doesn't there allow him to denies him the ledge with the drop down there. Catches yeah. up with the second up air. I mean, honestly, he was applying so much shield pressure against him. Hell on that platform. Fantastic yep. DI coming out from Gons. He goes for an extremely early warp. And Lin Ling wasting no time getting back to work, but Gons smartly drifting uh, away from the platform. But Lin Ling probably Ooh, thought he was going to go there. There you go. He did, I got him with the down air. Spiked him. Good night. There we go. And even and though he got the nair, like, I don't know. I think the momentum's still there. The answer was sent. The message was sent across. Ooh. Gons continue to go to work here. Lingley having a rough time getting off the ledge, but able to do so with the roll behind. But you are not safe from Palatine to snare ever off scene. In this case, the up air. Yeah, and he gets the extension off of the platform as well. All these up airs, Lingley was at a double jump. That's why he was trying to capitalize. Another empty hop grab coming out from Gons. He's starting to get away with these. Lingley needs to come up with a response. I challenge that. Gons go, go for the, the, the nifty mix up with uh, down air and neutral. Very nice. Okay, dash attack, now safe on shield. Gon's gonna get big punish off that with the up smash. Catches the up air, that's gonna be a two wow. stock for Gon's, putting himself back on the map. Angry Gon's is one of the few people I never wanna play in bracket. He's angry, but he is uh, determined. He is, uh, he will not stop until he reaches his goal. I mean, he needs all that money to be able to pay up for his purchases while he was here. I'm saying, man. Okay, going into game number four, Leeling still has the lead two to one. As you as predicted, Aussie, but we'll see a change of scenery. Where are we going? Kalos. Kalos Pokemon League. I don't I don't blame Ling Ling. You know, he's hard to feel comfortable. I feel like Palutena gets a little bit more benefit on PS2 than Peach, even though they're both like really yeah, good. Yeah, the way that the platforms are laid out definitely yeah. benefit the way that Palutena would like to play. I mean, this still also helps Palutena a lot, with, with the recovery especially. Being able to warp cancel off the Kalos Pokemon uh, platforms, you know? Exactly. Okay, there we go. Back here at his shield. You're going to see this a lot in the air train beginning. And you know, the 2-1 the deficit that uh, Gonzalez is now facing himself with might be in case because he tried out Game & Watch, you know? There's yeah. still that. So even if the bracket does reset, I, I can see Gon still being confident going into the next uh, set. Yeah, like... I obviously am like never in favor of like giving your opponent momentum, so that's why I probably wouldn't have started Game & Watch, but nonetheless though, he's got himself back in the thick of things. Only takes a couple more games. Okay, too far away for that grab to connect. It was good spacing with that back air from Gons. Be able to just get away from any sort of punish he was ho hoping to look for. There we go, great call out on the counter right there from Gons. You know, Lily was hungry for an aggressive option. Very true. Shooting off these more projectiles and trying to like, throughout these aerials. Good, great spacing for both players all around. Q 
catches him with the up air. Doesn't matter where you are, you are just not safe from Gonza's Palu. Repair. Nope, does not get the parry no. on the last hit of Rapid Jab, so. And when you're caught in that situation, it's like, are you going to go for the roll behind or just going to, you know, stick to your guns and hope you get pushed back far enough for the Palo's jab? Right. Rapid Jab, not the, not the, uh, really good at pushing him back away so he can easily get a punch afterwards. Nice little string from Gons here. Has a quick 0 to 66. Air dodging into the ground, followed by a spot dodge. Another empty hop. But Gilling finally, you know, you know, learning. Empty hop is a new roll behind, man. Yeah. I swear to God. There we go. Gets the back air. Gets the kill. I continue to hunt right now as Lingling, and he has the Stitch face on deck. And just like that, he's taking the lead away from God. Look how much mileage he got out of that Stitch. That was already a lot had, of damage, man. Put him already at 92 damage. He already he stole the lead. There okay, we're go. just going to turn around and grab. I mean, it was pretty obvious he wanted to go for that because the back throw benefits her so much. Drag down Nair off the stage. Uh oh. Pops him up a, a weird trajectory for Lingling to fall in. That was very strange. Oh! Calls out the spot dodge, but we're still alive. You cannot kill a goddess in church except with reverse neutral air. Lingling one stock away from resetting this whole bracket. Are we, are we about to see true finals? Maybe. It's a possibility. Let's see if Gonzo has anything to say about it. You can see a lot of spot dodges from Gonzo after getting punished with a spot dodge. I'm a little shocked that he's doing it, but it could be like the no mix up mix up. Very true. We're seeing a lot of up airs coming out from Ling Ling upon Gons trying to land down on the ground. There we Another go. Another one. Let's see if the answer is goes for the explosive play, but kind of set bait him low. And then he gets back to the stage like without even a m that much fuss. Forward tilt's gonna almost take away the stock. You see him DI'ing 164% on Ling Ling. Gets the nair, that's gonna kill. Yep, I love God's use of Explosive Flame, where it forces you to either recover high or recover low. When you recover low, it just screams neutral air. So, very, very good awareness on his part. And this is definitely doable for him. You saw him in the last game, he was able to mount a uh, relatively hard comeback. Oh, gets caught on the platform. Lingling Ling looking to finish this off. Gonzalez gets back onto the stage. Ooh, that, that was, was dangerous. scary, Nair. Uh-oh. He's out of double jumps. Trying to use the float. Gets back to center stage. That's why Leland will opt to just try to get to center stage as fast as possible to regain his resources. Gets oh another counter. God. Calls out another aggressive option. Gods is a psychopath. That was one of the best things ever. Oh, and there we go. Ling Ling's going to reset the bracket with that neutral air. He's going to jump into true finals. Gone sitting in losers alongside Ling Ling in our last set of the tournament. We have a bracket reset. PGR C tier tournament is going to be Ling Ling or Gons. Anyone could take this, man. But no game five for us today. So you know what that means, Koopa? No game 10. That is true. But at least uh, game eight. It could be a game nine. It could be a game nine. Could be game you, you try it. You try it. That's right. Math is hard. Man. I, I, I understand. Man, this has been a fun day so far, man. I hope you've been having as much fun as I am. I am, dude. I'm hungry. I'm ready to get some food. All that pizza on your shirt is making me like. <laughs> go to, like that's a pizza planet. Yeah. We're going to get to New York stat. All right, we got PS2 as the starter stage. Not surprised at all. This is where they started in the last set, so it's going to be where they started in the second set. The only set. difference being, God's is not even messing around with Game of Watch at this point. Yeah. So let's see if we can try to capitalize with this and go from a fresh start, a new beginning, if you will. So let's see what will work out here. Again, I think the thing for God is that he just gets out to these early deficits and it's really, he's making it really hard on himself to be able to get himself back in the games. So yeah, no, no doubt about that. It's uh, it, it's hard to find, refine that momentum, you know? Yeah. And Lily's playing good too. Like I said, he's one of the best air-to-air -air characters in the game. and. She's definitely proven that she has the wits to compete with pallets and on that front. I love that spacing. That was nuts. Oh my god. The fact that like he was just out of range to be able to connect that down tilt afterwards to get some big combo damage out of it. Gonzalez, you, you, how many empty, how many empty hop grabs? How many tomahawks are we gonna see today? A lot, man. Like, when, once Gonz finds the broken stuff, he will not, yeah, run away from the well until that, until that well is dry. Okay. We got these back airs. Didn't get the grab right afterwards. <laughs> Gons wanted to see how he was going to react. There you go. Back air. Going to hit Gons out of his dash. There, there we go. go. He needs to jump, but the back air will connect. 
Calls out the jump, like you said. Now we're gonna go into this next stock. See if Lily can hold on to this or if Gon's gonna delete it immediately. But here comes the damage. Doesn't matter if he's got rage, could still easily climb him up to 51. 70. Oh Do I see Do I hear 80? Do I hear 90? Yeah, but regardless, again, this is where the wheels can just kind of come off against him, man, as the up smash connects. But like I said, Gon's even out the stock percent. The, the, the stock deficit, but the percent deficit is still very much in the favor of Ling Ling right now. All that support. off of a spot dodge. Yep, he's got to work so much harder just to get himself back in the games here. Okay, back throw. Gons is on, put on points. Opsa not go for the ledge, instead just goes for the stage completely as the neutral air combos begin. Uh oh. Wants the up air, but good, good awareness from Ling Ling. He knew he could just drift away just out of reach, but as he's trying to approach area, uh, vertically, You'll see Gons trying to connect these up airs. Oh! Calls out the landing with a forward smash. Angel Feathers coming in. Up tilt. <laughs> heart Feathers. Feathers versus Hearts, man. I, I, what would win in a battle? Is that the next Splat Fest? That's the next epic rap battle. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, up airs. Gets a platform to try to get the extend. Ling Ling actually double jump to avoid it. Yeah, smart Ling Ling able to avoid that. Now the shoe has been put on the other foot as Gons is the one. Yeah. Kind of snowballing away with the lead right now. I yeah, definitely stole that away from Ling Ling, but as all Peach needs is one grab, one down tilt to make some sparks fly. Everything I just said is completely invalidated by the last five seconds. That's Super Smash Brothers, man. The 86% opts to go for the super deep recovery. Going center stage instead. Don's looking for the snare. Waits for the roll, the gets throw. the back throw. This is going to be really, this could be the moment. Didn't want to commit to the neutral air. Goes for the pop-up down tilt instead. Oh, that could be dead. Wide open. Yeah. All off that explosive flame. He baited out the air dodge off the explosive flame. I'm not sure if he had a double jump ready to go to avoid it. I don't think he did. Yeah, so he had to go for the air dodge. And because it was a directional air dodge, there's a lot of recovery off of that. Allowing him, leaving himself wide open for that neutral air to connect from Gons. Game one going to the great Gonzalez. So let's see what the answer is from Ling Ling. He had a lot of momentum going in that first set, but now he finds himself at uh, a deficit here, one to zero. I mean, I don't know what he's gonna have to mix up, try to bring this back, man, but uh, that's, the game was close. I feel like this this is anyone's tournament. Yeah, without a doubt. It's like the momentum shifted several times in that entire set, so let's see if God has to wear it all to come out on the other end of that. Not only would this be a first place finish for a PGRC tournament for uh, Gonzalez, it's also a paycheck for him. Honestly, do you think the paycheck is more important for Gons? I know Gons loves money. He loves money. He, he likes to go to like money. every local, so. Yeah, he's a shark. He'll be, the first, he'll be the first one to tell you that. Yeah. But he's not one of those players that like tries to go to tournaments that no one hurt. Like, you know, you know those tournaments that have like that extra pot bonus that people will like purposely not tell anyone about so they can go and get it for free? Yeah. I don't think he's one of, he's not one of those players. He just goes there and just wins because he's so good. Yeah, he just likes money. Yeah, Don't he just likes like money. Who doesn't? You say here, it looks like uh, Kalos will be the counter pick here. Yeah, as we saw in the previous set, Ling Ling did take up the Kalos Pokemon League. Ate the double jump with that back air. So that's why you saw Gonzalez trying to push the aggression. See, Gonzalez starting to catch on to these defensive options from Ling Ling. There's been two times Ling Ling spot dodge right in front of his face, and he's able to get the punish out of it. <laughs> up throw just to get him airborne. And that back air is extremely hard to punish if you're holding shield. But you just kind of like have to hold that. Back air, catch the ledge jump. So Ling Ling once again off to a strong start here. They face the wrong direction with that grab, gonna eat some damage for it. Only 19, could have been a lot worse. And you notice that Gons is trying to get these cross ups with the neutralers as well, because he does, the last thing he wants is to get grabbed by Peach at this low percent. Oh yeah, that's one of the worst things that could happen to you. Now let's see what happens, right? 65. I mean, honestly, he was already at a pretty high percent to begin with compared to like where that combo damage begins. Yep. That's down smash. Punish, though. Uh, he was trying to get a poke with that down smash. Nice answer. Ling Ling going for the up air when he's that low because he was sensing the neutral air coming his way. Gets him with the explosive flame. We have a second one coming out. Try to eat the air dodge. But Ling Ling off to go for the float instead. Eats the float. Eats the double jump. Drags him down with the nair. Gets the kill. There we go. Exemplary edge guarding. Coming oh, yeah. out from Gons. If, you, if you're a Palutena man, you want to learn how to edge guard officially. Watch Great Gons. Watch, great Gons Watch this set. He's to say, though, Ling Ling trying to get himself, uh, you know, extend this lead. Exactly. It's the same problem yeah. Gons in the last game. Gets the extended off the platform. 
Wants the back air. I mean, there's some there's some guard point on that back air, so I understand why that move's really good against someone who's trying to be aggressive against you. Exactly. Which Lili has done a lot in the past. Ooh. Catch the forward air. Just playing patient. Gets him before the warp even goes off. Neutral to cover the ledge. Throws out another turn up. He is not letting him warp. He is dead. We're wow. having a jam. Like, Scotty, <laughs> beat me up. Like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm giving her all she's got, Captain, but I'm down a stock. Okay, here we go. Throwing out some more turnips to apply some shield pressure against Gons. Too far away for that dash attack to land. Uh oh. Looking for the officer recover high. And Gons is trying to find an answer to this uh, vicious offense coming out from Ling Ling. Gets the back air, gets the ledge jumping. I mean, it was pretty obvious that Gons was looking for a back air at that point because he was just short hopping like crazy. But it could have been a bait for something big. Oh but look at that damage my fly. God. How many turn up sound effects did you hear in that combo? Uh, three. Like my man was speed running Super Mario Bros. 2 something. That was <laughs> the best game of all time. Thank you for playing my game. Okay, forward air. Yeah, it's just not looking good for Gods no. right now. The wheels have completely spun off the wagon. Yeah. All the momentum's in uh, Ling Ling's favor. He's got all the steam. We'll see if he can try to carry this on. But honestly, just one nair from Gons could easily turn this around. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Oh, tries to call him out with the spot dodge. Having trouble finding any sort of hits. Cal calls yeah. out the jump at a shield. Goes with the back air answer. Didn't let Gons touch him. Yes, you did, Peach. Yes, you did. We're going to move on to game three. Once again, tied up at 1-1. One, one. In this race to three. Yep, Gons. This is this is rough, man. <laughs> the thing is, Gons did win game number one, so if he wants to go back to PS2, he absolutely can at this That's point. True. Oh, I have to go to town and city. Okay, we got ourselves a mix-up here. You know, after FD and Smash were in the bands. Yep. Want to get rid of those ASAP. So we're going to jump into this... Game number three, sticking with the, uh, look at Ling Ling, man. My man is taking a deep breath, closing his eyes. He is meditating. Honestly, this would be a fantastic win for him. For Ling Ling to finally put himself on the map hardcore with a first place finish, like that, that would oh, be, yeah. that'd be so good for him. So that's why he's looking for it. Oh yeah, Ling Ling's always been low key one of like the yeah. better players in this region. He was the king of Connecticut for a while. He needs his time to shine. Around. Yeah. Like he, he had a little bit of moment in Ultimate when it was at, I brought this up before, but when he, when he defeated Isam at Pound, that was yep. a little bit of a big moment and for him. And he was the former king of Connecticut in Smash 4 before Light came around. So yes. he's definitely a player that is a yeah. record player. What, what do you thought of Connecticut players in Smash 4? Ling Ling was like the first player that came to your mind. Now it's Light. I feel like he feels like he's been a little bit overshadowed by Light a bit. So this is like, is, this is his time to like, uh, you know, get this W. Go, let's make this bread. Yeah. Let's make this Lots bread. Of bread. Okay, God wants bread too. And right now he's off to a pretty good start right now. Well, look at these empty hops. Gets the up air, calls out the double jump. Stock number one going to get Gonzalez. Yes. Air train. That's what's hard against Palutena. If you catch yourself spot dodging, he can get so much off of it, especially with the extendo off the platform of Town and City. Oh yeah, like, like I talked about how the lead can snowball away from me very quickly against Peach. It can for Palutena in the same way. Oh, calls him out with the back air, not gonna deny that ledge pressure. Good recovery from Lingling. Ling. Obviously, recover low. You see, Gon's trying to get that last hit of mutual in for the pop up, but just coming up a little bit short. What's the grab? <laughs> the standing grab of Palutena reared its ugly head once again. That move is good. Remember that Ling Ling able to find a respite. God's just recovering high on the platform. That backer's going to buy him a little bit of time. There we go. Neutral layer cleaning up the plate right there. Great Fan conversion there from Ling Ling. A fantastic answer. You saw him going for the neutral layer on the ledge just to be a long lasting hitbox. And here come the down tilts, and here comes the damage. Only got 46, you see Gons escaping the combo a little bit prematurely. Yeah, man, this is where things can kind of like escape from you sometimes, so. Gons, you might want to take it a step back a little bit. Maybe he just kind of can't the platform, find some a little bit of uh, waiting time. Tries to go for the Peach Bomber, but Gonzalez just going for the warp out of there. Back throw. Get the double jump. jump. Yeah, and again, just text, uh, like, he landed the Nair. Yeah, they got it off stage. Edgeguarding, like you said. Yeah. 
using explosive flame, the beta low recovery, neutral air. Really good at the edge guarding, man. I mean, if he has stage control, look out. It's back to the ledge. Lillian trying to cover that jump off the stage. Uh -oh. Flare begins, recognizing he can follow it up with a forward air. Keeping him on that ledge. Very nice stuff. And Lillian's starting to use these spot dodges a lot when he's feeling like he's all, like, his back's against the wall. And Gonzalez is capitalizing on that. Ooh, that new shooter could have been dangerous right there, but God's able to live to see another day. There we go, the clothesline. 24 carats of pain, baby. That will result in stock. Down the Great Gonzalez has a lot of work to make. Do you think it's real gold? I hope so. He looks a little bougie, I don't know. But, you know, Gantz wants to obviously maintain this lead. You don't want to go into uh, game four at the deficit. That's right, I mean, you definitely don't want that. See my 97%. Pokemon with the forward airs a little bit. Very hungry for the back airs, but Peach finds himself with a grab. Ling, Ling coming in strong. Okay. Okay, good check. Catch yeah. with the neutral air again. Out of shield, really good option to just get Peach off of him. And that, I, right there, I, I sense the grab coming his way. Oh, no. Goes off super deep with the explosive flame, forcing Ling Ling to miss the ledge. I think what happened was he lost his jump. Let's watch that again. Let's watch that last replay one more time, because that was, uh, I am shocked that he, like, fell down right there. Oh, yeah, he double jumped and then side beat. I think he probably went to yeah, double jump with up the forward beat. air. There's the double jump. And then it was, I, he was trying to hit Gons. Because he would have hit Gons, he would have got right, back up yeah. to the stage. And that would have put Gons in a terrible position. So I, I kind of get why he went for that. But now, one game away from taking home this tournament, Gonzalez on a, on a tear. Yeah, man, two to one lead. And you see, I, I, I like seeing this Ling Ling, right? This one that's just taking these deep breaths, yep. trying to collect himself, realizing that he has all the time in the world to go over this counter pick. Looks like we're gonna be going over to Unova what, from one Pokemon League to the next, you know? Yeah, man, mentalities have to battle. Yeah. Oh, we have a clarification coming out. Where's he going? Uh, he's talking to his boyfriend, but. Yeah, no coaching. No coaching. Coaching's banned. You're right. Oh, so, so, oh no! God's in the band Unova. Yeah? So, teleport characters have a hard time riding the wall on the stage. Uh huh. That's a primary reason, that's primary reason why most tournaments don't run this, because people are <coughs> lazy and they don't want to uh, adjust their recovery, so you don't have to hug the wall. Tell me how you really feel. Uh, I like this stage. Just kidding, we're going to Smash World. Uh, I forgot what's going on here. Oh, I think there's, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Regardless. So we got Smashville coming in for game number four. Great Gonzalez sitting here. Coming with the last set, set of the tournament. Just needs to take one more game to get that W. So I like that answer with that down tilt. You saw him trying to recover back onto the stage with the parasol. You could easily reach out with that disjointed hitbox. I mean, she's got a staff for a reason. Might as well employ it. Back air. There to back here is just such a satisfying combo. And this is a trap, right? You saw the explosive flame again, forcing Gleeling to recover low. Sets himself up very nicely for a Nair from Palutena. Dragon yeah, off stage. It's so good. Especially against characters with, like pretty linear recoveries. Like. Okay. Just gonna offer the down throw. Nice use of the up smash through the platform, just barely nicking the bottom of the dress. That goes up like a light. Like, it, it, it is sick. <laughs> the range on that move, you gotta respect it. That move's huge. Mm. And honestly, on Smashville, even though this is Ling Ling's counter pick, like, Derry Gonzalez gets a lot of mileage off of the teleport cancels on Smashville, but not gonna be able to get that one. Gets back to the ledge. Good wait from Ling Ling. Good, there we go. The back yeah. gets the job done. So Ling Ling, once again, striking first blood. That entire edge guard was just Ling Ling just playing patient, waiting to see where he's gonna land, but gets caught by an explosive flame. Caught on fire. We have ourselves a two stock match. Get cooked. Medium rare, please. <laughs> Gross. Okay, Nair. He had some ledge pressure there. It, it was looking a little st a little tough for Lillian to get back onto the stage. But now the down tilts are coming back into play. Big damage, Ooh. big money. Avoids the explosive flame so sneakily, just jumping right, narrowly so close yeah, to the flame. You just gotta find that one, that 45 degree where it doesn't work, and there we go! Oh no my god! Back air. Oh, McCon's going right back on the offense, not giving Lingling any time to breathe. 
Up smash on the ledge, and we got the rolls coming out. Where's he going? Felt like Lillian kind of misspaced that a little bit, but here we go, gets the roll. Right, again, just stops to teleport away, buy himself some time. That looked like a panic warp, dog. Probably. Okay, forward air, just to pop, poke him up oh. into the up air. Smart stuff. He landed that forward air so close to the ground, too. Here so we go, allowed folks. him to be able to get the follow-up. Here you go, folks. This could be gay as tournament stock for God. Uh, no, it's not, dog. No, it is not. 126%. Again, throws him off. Okay, Gonzalez actually made it back alive. Yeah. Is what I would say. And we're going to go to game five. Or game nine. We got ourselves a game nine situation. Not necessarily a game ten. But we're going to the final game here. This is Ling Ling or Great Gonzalez's match, but it's Gonz's counter pick. Yep, Gonz is trying to jump neutral, yeah. and he got the trade, but up smash just came out just a hair faster. And what Ling Ling was doing right there in the ledge was what he's been trying to do, like, the last, like, two sets against Gonz. Like, mm -hmm. he's just trying to hang out there right by the ledge where the warp's going to come out and the neutral air. Like, teleport recoveries are just so easy to two-frame because they don't have a hitbox. Now, let me paint a story for you, Koopa. Okay. You got you you got one game of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate left. Okay. You're playing just one singular game. Okay. Two thousand dollars difference uh -huh. on the line. If you win, you get an extra two thousand dollars on top of what your your winnings already are, uh -huh. or a thousand dollars around that ballpark. It's, it's mm -hmm. a lot of cash. Yeah. Huh? Big money. Uh huh. De Niro. Uh huh. Like Scrooge McDuck. Mm hmm Like you could swim in it. Yeah. Huh. How, what, what's going through your head if you were that player? Uh, Are you stressing at all? I can't say the word that I would say because I would be mortified. But yeah, I'm nervous at this point. Like, Gonzo's usually pretty good at keeping himself like composed and under control. But uh, you know, in these sort of circumstances, it, it's just it's yeah. a lot, man. I mean, both these players have found themselves in grand finals time and again. It, but that's been more on like the local level, right? And maybe, well, maybe well, even the regional level. Yeah, well, Gaz did just get 13 to smash and splash, so he's definitely used to this sort of like to the pressure, the yeah. first pressure cooker environment. Yeah. He's actually got a lot better at handling his emotions in these situations than he has been in the past. But that's why he's been staying calm and collected. And speaking of emotions, oh, Sling no. Ling is still. Uh, wait. This wait, is, this is a Gaz counter. This pick, is Gaz's right? counter pick, man. I don't know what that story you were uh, saying up, but apparently Gaz doesn't care. He wants this stage. All right, man, you got it. So let's see if it works out for him. I just pray to God that he doesn't SD. That's all I, I hope for. So here we go, guys. Game, the final game of Smash Delphia 2019. The Great Gonzalez coming from New Jersey, representing Palutena Ling Ling on Peach, coming from Connecticut, AKA New England. Let's get it started, baby. Doctor, good start with the back throw. That rabbit job's gonna do some good damage. Okay, actually holding down while going for the parasol to just try to like poke Gonzalez a bit. Gonna be able to punish that jab with a simple shield grab. Ooh, good attempt for Lingling to yeah. jump over the uh, the auto reticle. But now back in the blender is Gons. And more patience coming out from Lingling, waiting for that teleport cancel to come off the ledge and knew exactly where Gons is gonna land. Get that punish. But speaking of knowing exactly where they're gonna be, Gons calling out that double jump with an up air. Lingling often recover low with the up B to gain that invincibility on the ledge. We're avoiding the explosive flame. Oh, wide open. Oh, no wow. punish. Yeah, that was kind of screaming. If he got, he, yeah. If he grabbed it there, I yeah. would have killed him. He went, so. he went for too big of a punish with that down tilt. Okay, trying to play it safe with these back airs on shields. <laughs> really hungry for it, too. I don't blame it. There's really not much most characters can do about that. And you see Gaz is just a little bit of afraid to drop off in uh, neutral air. I feel like that Peach Bomber put him back far enough so he couldn't get caught by the grab. Smart stuff from Lee Ling. Neutral air, about it. Sorry, that was back air. Voids the turn up. Looking extremely scary here. They're both at high percents, they're both bleeding. Voids the dash attack. Oh my god. Grab. Back throw's not gonna kill, but it's gonna set up nicely for whatever edge grab. Wide open. Wow. What happened? Ling Ling gets back, still gets the stock regardless. But you saw how close Palutena was to him with that explosive flame. Yeah, man. Without a doubt. Big damage, big damage! Oh my oh, god, that shit. forward air? That was nutty, man. Go, just goes for the reverse round, Peach Bombers. We've not been seeing these too often from Ling Ling, so maybe he's busting out for the final game. Just a constant barrage of these side beams, but manages to send them flying with the up tilt, spinning that staff. Yeah, man. So now Gantz has a lot of ground to make up here. Like I said, even he got the stocks has never been a problem for Gantz. It's about getting it at a percent where it's manageable for him. He can afford to take a couple of hits and maybe reset the situation. But now he really can. 
But off to a good start right here on the ledge. Ling Ling able to fight his way back to center stage and gets the reset uh, of neutral once again. Okay, doing some more damage here off stage. Tries to go for the grab, but Ling Ling opting to go for the jump. Uh, calling it all with that up smash, but it might have been uh, too much to... Took off more than he could chew because he already got him at 144%. Looking for this back air, goes for the grab, forward throw to try to sneak in a quick DI check. Back right. throw, up throw. That's for the up throw. Maybe trying to bait some bad DI out of Ling Ling. Or just keep him airborne. Because, like, I, Gonzalo's been doing a good job of just nailing these up airs or just camping these landings. Uh -oh. Gets hit by the Peach Bomb, who's trying to challenge him with a neutral air sitting at 169%. Ugh, jeez, that could have been really scary. None of them are committing. They're not committing to anything. It's a soft dash, attack. dash attack, and the back air from across the stage. Will kill Lingling Ling on tournament stock right now. This would be a big win for Lingling. Ling. He's so close, just one stock away. Gets the Peach Bomber, no follow up. Okay, gets Nick by the down air, but God's able to fight back. Gets the back air, and here we go, Austin. Last stock, last game of Smash Philadelphia. Everyone's on their last life. Okay, 14% on the Gonzales. They're both not wanting to commit to anything. Look at them, they're, they're kind of like in unison with their jumps almost. But there we go, Gonzales finds the Nair. The damage begins, the crowd's starting uh -oh. to get hype! Uh-oh! He had the double jump to escape that final up air. God's got the hit he needs, the back air's gonna connect! He ate his double jump! Oh no, no, he didn't, he saved it, he saved it. Avoids the grab, he knew he was hungry for it, so opted to go for the spot dodge. Big punish, goes for a re-grab into the back air. Lingling has stage control. God's after recovering in the middle of the stage of the platform, the neutral is gonna catch him from behind! Catches the jump out of shield with the Nair, has him at 94%. Looking for the back air. Ew. Another re-grab. Goes for the maximum amount of damage, that was optimal. Catches uh -oh. the neutral air out of the roll, almost died for it. Able to get back! That was supposed to be a neutral air. I think he wanted to float into a nair, but just flubbed up a little bit. Catches him with a golf swing! And that's Ling Ling coming off, and he is popping off! Winning Smash Adelphia 2019. Ling Ling, the player known for showing no emo whatsoever, is popping off after his first place finish. As you see it right here, that could have been it right there for Ling. Well, that's we get the replay of everything, but I've seen it right here on my screen right here. Again, Cox catches Gons jumping with the forward smash, and as you, as you said, the man that never emotes, the stoic killer from Connecticut, comes out on top, Ling Ling. Make a New England proud. That was a fantastic set, man, and I feel for Gons. That's, uh, that's quite upsetting. It really stinks being on winner's side of Grands and then choking away a lead like that, especially with as much money that was on the line here, but mostly just, a, you know, yeah. it, it sucks coming in second place. You know Gons is hurting for that, but th th this was this was Ling Ling's story. Like, he he took that early that early loss to DM's Pikachu over in winner's semis, didn't give up, climbed through the loser side of Bragg to make himself all the way to grand finals just to reset against New Jersey's own great Gonzalez and gets the win afterwards in a nine-game, like, feud. Yeah, man. That was absolutely incredible. 